So in this talk, I'm going to consider an example of a function that's continuous in every linear direction at every point. So what that means is that at, if you pick any point in, in the domain, which in this case is all plane, xy plane, so the xy plane is the domain of the function, if you pick any point anywhere, it's continuous in every straight line direction through the point. And it's, it, it's not continuous everywhere. So there's one, there's going to be one point where the function is actually not continuous as a function, even though, even at that point, it's continuous in every linear direction everywhere. So, so the idea is first, I'm, I just have this picture here, maybe not very pretty, but it has the idea is, is here this, this is meant to be the parabola y equals x squared. It should actually be symmetric about the y axis. And it looks a little not symmetric, but it's meant to be symmetric. Okay, so there's this region between y equals 0 and y equals x squared. Now, the general idea is, is as follows. The function I'm going to define will be 0 everywhere above this, so all this part, and it's also going to be 0 everywhere below the x-axis. Okay, so it's going to be 0 on all of this part below y equals 0, and it's going to be 0 above y equals x squared. So it's going to be non-zero only in, in this shaded region. And we'll see why that's significant. Let me just write down the definition of the function now. Now that we have this, it looks a little weird, but it's okay. So as I said, it's zero on this region above the parabola, it's zero on the region below the x-axis. And it's also at the boundaries, it's zero, just for continuity reasons. And, uh, and at the other points, so the points in here, it's y over x squared times one minus y over x squared. When, what happens when y is between zero and x squared? Another way of writing this down is f of x comma y is so it's zero on the y axis, so zero here, and it's max. I mean that's just another way of writing it, it's not so important. Not okay, this, I mean, we'll, we'll think about this, this is more computationally direct. Okay, so, first of all, what do you see? First, I'm going to argue that this function is continuous, that it's, it's actually, actually continuous as a function everywhere except at the origin. So, at all points other than the origin, it's actually a continuous function. And let's, let's try to understand that. So, that one. so let's say if my point is below the y equals zero line, okay, if my point is below this, so as a point could be here. What does the function look like around the point? Zero. It's zero in a neighborhood of the point, right? So it's zero, like it's around, it's not just zero at the point, it's zero in a neighborhood of the point. You can make a small disk around this and it's zero everywhere. Here. So it's going to be continuous at all these points, right? That's not an issue. So everywhere below the y equals zero line, it's continuous. What about above the y equals x square line? Also. Also zero, right? Because you take any point here, it's zero around this point. What does that leave? Well, that leaves, it leaves, the, okay, what about the re shaded region? This one, the shaded region. Well, on that shaded region, it's this rational function. Okay, and that's continuous because x is x is not zero anywhere in the shaded region. So it's a rational function; it's well defined, and it's therefore continuous. The rational functions are continuous, right? So what does that leave? Well, that leaves these two curves, these two things, right? These these two. Now suppose you are on the y equals zero line, somewhere here. Now there's two two definitions around this point. 
right? On the lower side, it's just the zero definition. On the upper side, it's this other definition. Now, it, it so happens, if you're at a point where y equals zero, then both the definitions agree, right? Like on this, at points on this line, both these definitions agree. So basically sort of, it's, it's just like if you've seen with function one variable, if you have, if you change the definition, if you have a piecewise definition, if, if at that point, both the left side and right side piece definitions agree, and they agree with the value, then the function is continuous, right? The same way here, both the upper region and the lower defi region definitions agree, and they also agree with the value of the function at the point. Okay, and both these definitions can be extended across the thing. So therefore, it's continuous everywhere here, except possibly at the origin. I'll come to the origin later. But the same logic holds for y equals x squared. The definition on the above side is just zero. The definition on the below side is this. But now if you plug in y equals x squared, what happens to this part? Zero. Because this becomes zero, right? So again, both these definitions agree. So it's like you have these two definitions. They agree, both extend to both sides and so on. So basically, it's continuous error. Now, why doesn't the origin work? Well, at the origin, sort of this definition doesn't make sense. So basically, the, the origin, it's a corner thing between so many different definitions. And, and it's not clear whether what the limit of this Piece, uh, you cannot directly plug in this expression at the origin, right? Because you get zero or zero form. Why this time zero zero? Ah, okay, we'll come to that. But if you are, so yeah, if you are now go approaching along a linear direction, what do you think for the origin? It's something less straightforward, but everywhere else it's continuous. So it's continuous everywhere for all points other than the origin, it's continuous. We still don't know about the origin. It's continuous. Since it's continuous, it's also continuous in every straight line direction. Because the other direct, other implication works. If it's continuous, it's continuous in every linear direction. It's, it's this direction implication that we don't know. Okay. So now let's, let's concentrate on the origin. Suppose I have a straight line approaching the origin. Well, where could that straight line be? It could either be from, well, I'm, I'm actually look at half lines because it's just like, instead of doing a full line, I'll just do a half line. Right, because any actual approach will be along a half line. It could be somewhere from below. Right? If it's from below, then what's the lim what's the value of the function along the line? Zero, right? It's going to be zero everywhere along the line. Okay, and it's also zero at the origin, because if you notice at the origin, it still satisfies this definition, right? Yes. So if you're approaching from lines below the origin, there's no problem. It's continuous from such lines. What happens if you're approaching from the, a line along the x-axis? Zero. It's still zero. Y-axis is also zero because it's, it's zero on the bar. Now what happens if you're approaching along some other line? Now, here's where the actual y equals x squared becomes significant. Any line, any straight line above the x-axis will, if you're close enough to the origin, it will be above the y equals x squared line. Why? Because y equals x squared, sort of close to the axis, it quadratic is, is like going to be smaller than linear. Yeah. Okay. So, in fact, if you have a line y equals mx, your line y equals mx, it's higher than y equals x squared for x equals x is less than 1 over m. Yeah, x less than 1 over No, not one over m, just m, right? Uh, wait, so mx is, yeah, just m. I had that right, I got confused, yeah. Confused by me. Um, wait, so is it going to be m? So, so, 
substitutes. So mx, for mx to be greater than x squared means, or mx in absolute value should be greater than x squared. Yeah, absolute value x greater than or m less than absolute value m. Sorry. Right? So if you have y equals 2x, it's going to become bigger than, uh, than y equals x squared when x is less than 2. Right? If you have y equals minus 2x, it's the same. So, so that's, that's the relevant thing. Sorry. Is, is this cut out clearly? Okay. So, so for absolute value x less than absolute value m. Which means, what does that mean? It means that if you are close enough, since, since we are concerned about the limit along this line, what we really care is about just for x small enough, right? Yeah. And for x small enough, it's above y equals x square. And being above y equals x square, what does that mean? That means that the function value is? Zero. Zero. So, so close enough to the, to this point, your function value is zero. And hence, the limit at this point is zero, which is equal to the value. So, the upshot is, it's continuous along every linear direction at the origin. So the idea is somehow that this, this region is too thin near the origin to be detected by lines. However, it still exists. This region still exists. So it's not continuous at the origin along along y equals to x cubed. Well, you could do x cubed. I'll, I'll do that. So something because it's computation. So it's y equals half x squared. Okay. Let's just take the limit along this from the positive side. So you have something like that. Okay. So limit x approaches zero from the positive side. It doesn't actually matter. The, the other side limit is also the same, but you can x squared over 2, we have, yes. that is limit x approaches 0 plus. Now, what definition will you use? You are in this case, right? Mm -hmm. So, you, y over, what's y over x squared? 1 half. 1 half. So, you get 1 half times 1 minus 1 half. Okay, that's not equal to the value at zero. Value at zero is zero. Okay, where the value at zero is zero. So it's not continuous along this curve. And if the function were actually continuous as a function, it would have to be continuous along not just every straight line direction, every continuous curve approaching the point. Right? And we found, therefore found one curve. So what, what's the reason why straight lines don't detect this? Um, because the region is narrow. Yeah, it's too thin near zero. It's it's pretty thick here, but it's very thin near the point where we are taking this limit. Okay, and that's why uh, that it works. Okay.